everybody my name is Alinzi. on this video i'm going to show you how you can be able to run Solino web drive on your replay script so before now i did the video and show you how you can be able to run Solino web drive on repeat by just setting the options right but now repeat did an update that actually permits you to be able to sign, set up the path if you don't set up the path the script is not going to work remember how when you are running um, selenium on your local machine how you can be able to set up the path and you now point the drive to the path of the chrome drive that you are using so that you can be able to you know, start up the machine and then run your scripts through it so now selenium actually uh, repeat actually requires you to do so because if you can, if you don't do it that that way they will tell you that the you cannot find the the path to this uh, chrome mm -hmm. web drive let's say for example if i try to run this script if i run this script now you now see that it's going to give pop up an error telling me that that it cannot find sorry for that that it cannot find the uh, the executable part for the selenium uh, for the chrome web drive so now it requires it for you to be able to you have to set it up for you to able to use it and this thing is very very easy to do on your script file so all you need to do just come over to this three dot here show hidden files once you show hidden files you come over to this place you open this file I'll drop, I'll drop the, I'll drop this and um, these two things that I typed out here on the description below. I'll drop it there. You copy this. You come over to this, to this one, uh, to to this repeat dot nis. Once you open it, you come here. You paste it under this package, uh, Python package manager here. Yeah? Once you paste it here, you come back to your script. You have already pointed the script to the part that you want to do. The, that you already set up the path now once, once you now come back to your script and run it it's not going to tell you that it's not, you cannot find it on the tab that we have already set up the path so when you now run this you cannot see that you are now executing the youtube link that we are actually trying to execute earlier but you are telling us that you cannot find the path to the kernel version. This is very very easy to do. I got a lot of um, comment that saying that the script is no longer working, that they cannot actually execute the path that it is always popping out path issues and error. Thank you for the former video. I like the the kind of um, actually that the video actually got. People that got the video earlier, they they were able to use the script, but people that got it late, after repeat actually did the the latest update that they did. They were actually saying that it's no longer executing, but I believe that this is going to solve the problem. It's very, very easy to do for you to just copy and paste the Chrome web drive on the repeat.nis file, and then you are good to go. Thank you for watching my YouTube video. Thank you for subscribing. Please keep